U of I students are shipping out to help assess earthquake damage in Mexico. They'll use eyes in the sky to help decide if buildings need to be demolished. WCNI3's Maggie Hockenberry is with us. So Maggie, they're going to fly drones overhead. That's right, Jennifer. They will then be able to get an inside look at the damage. It will help in the demolition process. The students are working to make sure only buildings that need to be torn down are torn down. And it will help with the cleanup and give them a chance to research a real scene. Mexico City was rocked by a 7.1 magnitude earthquake just over a week ago and it's left as many as 360 buildings and homes in danger of collapse. If you imagine uh, in a post-disaster scenario like like uh, the current state in Mexico City uh, there are uh, uh, thousands, tens of thousands of buildings that, that are that are all severely damaged. Michael Neal and Vedha Saskare are students at the U of I. They're going to assist in the cleanup, and their job will be to help decide which buildings aren't safe to keep. Some of these are, have been uh, collapsed completely, and so they don't really need inspections. It's the ones where you can't really tell whether it's safe to go in. They will send a drone overhead to take pictures of the devastation. There are nearly 400 buildings considered red level. This means they're in danger of collapsing. There's not really enough time uh, for inspectors to be able to go to, to all of these buildings one by one. The earthquake has left thousands without a home, and the death toll has risen to more than 300. A scene Neil says will be hard to bear. It's hard to gauge exactly what the situation is going to be like. The students are hoping to be able to help with what they can and say it will give them great input in their research. It's a very important thing that we're doing to uh, be working towards the engineering solutions of a problem like this, creating awareness for what's going on down there and these disasters in general and how they affect people. The students will head out on Friday and come back on Monday night, and the expenses are paid for with the help of the university. Guys, excellent. All right, thank you, Maggie. Right now, there are 1,100 buildings that can be fixed. More than 8,000 of them have been inspected and are okay. There are still hundreds.